<laughs> Imagine being afraid of a sinkhole swallowing your home. It's a real concern for a woman who lives in Stone Mountain. She told CBS 46 DeKalb County is not helping her with a nasty water crisis. It got our attention though. CBS 46's Melissa Stern now working to get them results. A DeKalb County woman says she's been fighting with the county for five years, trying to get them to maintain their water drain that runs underneath her property. She says she's concerned that her property will eventually turn into one giant sinkhole and swallow her home. All the damage is being done by this drain that hasn't been kept. The water from the county's water drain flows into Snapfinger Creek, which runs behind Victoria Coburn's backyard. They told me that that was my responsibility. It was on, it was my property and I have started getting craters in my property and my fences hanging in, in midair and because of the soil being washed away from underneath it. She's been fighting with them ever since. I said, so I can just block it off and that'll stop all the problems. Oh no, you can't do that. You'll be in trouble now the state. I say, so it's not mine. You can't find me for something that belongs to me. On top of the sinkholes, the giant trees surrounding her home are starting to lean because of the soil being washed away. I'm scared if all this stuff falls on, on my house, it could kill me. A spokesman for DeKalb County says they have inspected this property several times. In September, they cleaned 10 feet from the head wall to ensure proper flow and installed rocks to stabilize the ditch. In October, a roads and drainage crew performed a video inspection of the pipe, which showed it to be in generally good shape, with the exception of a little rust on the bottom of the pipe. That pipe will be reevaluated in the next 12 to 18 months for possible installation of lining. But Coburn says the county needs to make some changes, or eventually there's going to be an even bigger problem. Just swallow my property. Melissa Stern, CBS 46 News.